there, this is Lisa with Lisa's Pomeranian Puppies. I'm getting ready to feed the babies, and I just want to show you how I make their puppy food. Um, I use this as it's a puppy milk replacer, so it's a formula. It is powdered. I use kibble. It's puppy kibble. Whatever you're feeding mom, um, you should be feeding mom puppy food at this at this point. Um, but that's puppy kibble and then I'm gonna need boiling water so I just boiled some water and I just want to show you how I do this so I use for my puppies eight ounces of water will feed all six of my babies um, it's one scoop for every four ounces so I do two scoops of the replacer and then also with the kibble the more thick you want it the more kibble you use the less thick the less kibble so I'm gonna go ahead this is boiling water okay and I do two scoops this is super easy I'm a visual learner um So I just figured since I'm doing this, I might as well share how I'm doing it. But it's, you know, super easy. You want to get that all dissolved. Um, the boiling water helps dissolve it, but you can still see there are some chunks. But we're going to end up leaving this for about 40 minutes or so. This is where I add the kibble. And I eyeball it. I did not measure that. And I stir it up. Now, as it cools, and with the kibble in there, the kibble is going to absorb um, the formula and get softer and make it easier to blend. And as soon as this cools off, I will come back with another video to do what the next step is. All right, see you in a minute. Hi, guys, I'm back. So it's been about 40 minutes. Um, this is now cooler. As you can see, the kibble's a little bit different. It's softened, it's softened and absorbed the formula. Um, I put this in a blender. So this is what it looks like before it goes into the blender. It's like cereal. Um, I'm going to blend this and then I will come back and show you what it looks like after it's blended. I don't want to blend it on camera because it's so loud, but so this is the blender. I blended it for a few minutes. My babies at this age, they're four weeks old, like it thinner and not um, chunky. They spit the chunks out. So I like it really liquidy at this point. I've tried different ways to see what they like and they like it really liquid. So I'll show you the consistency of this batch. So it's kind of like a, I don't even know what to describe that. Baby like food? Baby food or a pudding. So my next video is going to be showing you how we take this and feed it to the babies. So I will see you in a minute. All right, so we're back and I'm going to show you guys how to feed these babies or how we've been feeding these babies. Um, you saw that first video of them eating. It was a big, huge mess. Everybody needed a bath. By the time we got done bathing, it was time to feed again. And I don't want to over bathe my babies if I can <laughs> help it. So we we figured out a, a way to do it where it's not as messy. <clears throat> Excuse me. So go ahead. You can go ahead and feed her. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Um, we use a spoon. So this is that mixture you saw me make. Yeah. Once, she, once she finds it, she'll go nuts for it. Now this this um, formula, this particular one is lukewarm. Um, I have given it to them a little bit warmer. The first few feedings were, were warm um, just to help transition. But they know the smell now and they know they're getting a meal. Now something I haven't updated you on just because we had a really busy couple of days um, is that mom... 
that that one morning at six so it was Saturday morning at six a.m. Mom fed her babies and she hasn't fed them since. So um, we are feeding this more often than I expected. I thought we were gonna do four times a day, um, but we're gonna go every five hours um, with these guys and feed them ourselves. Um, I'm gonna take mom to the vet tomorrow. I want to know that she's okay. I understand um, that it takes a lot of work and calories and everything else to feed such a big litter. Um, but I just, you know, being precautious, making sure there's not a medical reason for her to stop feeding them. I'm not worried at all about the babies or doing this feeding is totally fine. Um, we hand raised a litter of puppies um, before and the puppies are gonna be fine we this is not that big of a deal like I said big big breed puppies um, or big breed moms tend to start weaning at four weeks anyway it's just a little bit new for us with Pomeranians they tend to, to start weaning at six weeks um, but don't be concerned these guys are in good hands we will not miss a meal. Um, we, we're with them pretty much 24-7 if we see anything weird. Like, we look for things like, are they lethargic or, um, you know, we, we keep an eye out for hypoglycemia and all those things. So, she is getting it on her face, which is going to happen. She sticks her face in it. Um, but it's not getting all over her. She's not stepping in it. And then we take wipes. And we wipe her off when she's done. So, now it's slower in a way because we're feeding one baby at a time. Oh, Larissa, say hello. Hello. Larissa will take a puppy and I will take a puppy. So, like I feed three, she feeds three. Um, but it's, so, it's a lot faster feeding them one at a time than it is to... Um, have them all really messy and all need a bath. I don't want to overbathe them. It will eventually dry out their skin and I have to do, she's licking it right off the pad. She's like, give me that food. So I'm only allowed five minutes and 26 seconds left of recording time on my phone. I have to um, get rid of a lot of these videos that I've taken and pictures and everything else and clean my phone up. So my memory only allows me five more minutes. So as you can see, this is little mini, little Minnie's eating the food. Um, and I will probably do like a short clip of each puppy getting their food. So puppy parents can see their babies are eating and, um, yeah, we'll be back in a little bit. Okay. So we're back. And she is feeding our red party Merle. So he's going to eat. We feed Minnie first just because she's so tiny. We want her to have shortest time in between meals. Not that it's like those three minutes of her eating or however long it took. Isn't really going to make a big difference. But it makes me feel better that she's getting food. This is so much cleaner, guys. At some point, we'll be able to um, feed them all with the bowl. Like you saw with the first time, but um, I have to wait till they're less messy. And But they're, they're eating like champs. I haven't had anybody that's being a picky eater. They all tend to go for it. Um, like I said, right now, I've tried like... But I had like little chunks of kibble still in there. It's soft because it absorbed the formula, but little like little chunks and they spit it out. They they don't they look around it, they spit it out if it gets in their mouth. They don't know. They don't want it, basically. I know mama's like, What are you feeding my babies? We have to feed them, honey. They have to eat. I know. It's okay. So I'm gonna pause the video again. And we're going to resume with the next puppy. So this is Chocolate Merle eating. Another really good thing about 
doing them one at a time like this, having it in a spoon, um, we can see and monitor how much they're actually eating better. So if we see one's not eating as well as somebody else or, or that like they're not eating as much as they used to or we can just it'll give us an idea when you have all six eating all at the same time you're paying attention to you know not them not stepping in it not sticking like falling their face in it we don't really get to see who's eating and see how much they're eating so this method um has been working really well they're staying really clean. We just wipe their face off. And they're learning how to, to eat the food. So, yeah. <laughs> well, maybe I'll take a video at my vet's office tomorrow, too. Maybe. I don't know how how they are going to feel about it, but... Are you still recording? Yeah. Oh, hi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. All right. So I'm running out of time on my memory, so I'm going to pause this guy. But as you can see, he's eating really good. And I'll show you the next one. So this is little Marley chowing down. She's like, hey, I love food. That's a good girl. Good girl. So we're going to feed them like this for a while until they can start um, in, like taking the chunkier food. And then what I'll do is... Um, I can just soak the kibble in either formula or I could soak it in just water and let it absorb the kibble, get, you know, absorb and get squishy. It takes a while with the kibble that I use, um, to get soft like that, but, and then I can, you know, feed them all at the same time and it won't be messy. But that's what I do for six week olds is I just soak kibble. But it takes like two hours of soaking before it's soft enough um, for, you know, first time with kibble type thing. And I've done both ways. I've done it in formula and I've done it in water. I typically do choose the water route. I don't like leaving... Um, like it, the formula to me is like a milk product and I don't like it just sitting there um, in, at room temperature for a couple hours. Um, so I, I like the water better um, as long as everybody's doing good. I mean, they're all gaining weight. They're all doing really well. And I don't need to increase um, calories. If you want to do a heavier calorie food I would soak it in the formula versus the water but if everybody's healthy and happy and doing great water works just fine um the hotter the water is the the better it, the kibble absorbs are you are done and they let us know when they're done they just like okay I'm not interested anymore we use these puppy pads um just because it's a messy process is she done I think so. All right, we're going to clean up her face and we'll show you the next one. This is Moose getting his food. And it's funny, I expected him to be more of a voracious eater um, just because of how I watch him with mom but he's pretty pretty good about just okay it's here I'll eat until I'm full
And because he's a little bit on the bigger side, I, expect, I thought maybe he'd eat the chunks, but he won't. So I, I put the food in the blender for a couple of minutes, or probably two minutes, two to three minutes, just to make sure all the big chunks are out. Um, as they grow up, today's are four weeks old today, so as they grow up, they're, the food that we're feeding will get chunkier. <laughs> you know, I'm curious. Um, the chunkier and chunkier. You okay, buddy? Let him lick it off his, out of his mouth. Okay. Hey, I wasn't going to force him. There you go. Good boy. So after this meal, probably in like two hours from now, um, I'm going to offer them all one-on-one -on -one water um, just to help keep hydrated. Mom did go in the pen a couple of minutes ago to check on her babies and you know as she's standing up the baby's attached so she was kind of like just slowly walking <laughs> with a bunch of babies hanging off of her so they did get um, you know just her milk for a little bit like seconds it wasn't long it wasn't a full meal but um they did get something from her but I just want to keep their fluids up and they need more than just um food at this point without mom they're gonna need food and water but I am not leaving a bowl of food for them but in between every like I want to start, I want to feed them like this every five hours and then halfway through, so like two and a half hours, probably after feeding, I will um, I'll offer water and just keep doing it that way. But I hope this video is helpful. Um, if it is, give me a like, leave me a comment. Um, I make these videos not for me, but for you guys, and it really helps me to know that I'm, I'm, you know, what I'm, the time I'm taking to do these things are beneficial for you, and that you, you know, if not, then I'm, I'm just wasting my time, and I, I don't want to feel like I'm wasting my time. Um, so let me know. All done. All right, I'll grab another one. So this is Melvin Blue's feeding. And he's doing really good and he's a good eater. Yeah. Nobody's been picky about the formula. They all took to it really well. I didn't have to fight anybody to eat. Um, if you have if you find yourself having to bottle feed newborns, um, getting them to accept an artificial nipple is really hard and um, it, it, it takes a little bit for the babies to accept it and, um, drink from it. So, you know, the beginning first couple of days are a little bit rough with, with bottle feeding, but then it, they decide, oh yeah, okay, this is feeding me. I will accept it after a couple, first couple of days. Now these guys, this isn't bottle feeding. Um, and I didn't have that problem at all with <laughs> what are you guys doing over there um with them you know taking to this yep. food at all oh no you're sick i got you i got you i got you Wait. yeah their claws do get stuck on these puppy pads I'm just it's okay. good boy now that one's dreaming yeah so that no, that squeaky noise you hear is a puppy dreaming It was the chocolate Merle was just doing it, and I went and checked on him to make sure he was okay, and he was just dreaming. <laughs> and this is the one that's doing it now is my uh, my red party Merle. I got you. I got you. Let me put you down. That's fine. I got you. It's okay. It's okay. Good. There you go. Good boy, Melvin. So thank you for watching. Thank you for following me. Um, I look forward to making more videos for you guys and um sharing these babies growing up with you all right take care god bless